In today's Health Watch, it's an easy activity that can have a major impact on your health. Beth Galvin talks to an expert about why you should make practicing gratitude a regular part of your routine. It can be really easy to fixate on the negative in your life, but flipping that around can be really positive. Looking for the good is good for your health, and we talked to an expert about why. This time of year, we talk a lot about feeling thankful, but Jody Baumstein, a licensed therapist with Children's Healthcare of Atlanta's Strong for Life program, says feeling thankful is temporary, but practicing gratitude can be powerful. So the way you can think about it is if somebody shows up for you once, you might feel thankful that they did that. But if they keep showing up over time, you might feel really grateful that they're in your life. So when we're practicing gratitude, it really fundamentally shifts our perspective. Umstein says we're not born grateful. It's a skill we learn growing up, but practicing gratitude can have major health benefits. It makes us less stressed, more hopeful, more positive, more resilient, and it even has an impact impact on our physical health. We tend to be um, sleeping better, eating better, and it can even impact our immune system, making us less likely to get sick. Still, shifting the way you view things can be challenging. Our brain is really good at noticing all the things that aren't going well. If we're struggling, our brain is really good at magnifying and amplifying that. But when we're practicing gratitude, we're actually looking out for the good because it's happening all the time in the existence of our pain and our suffering, there are good things happening. And Baumstein says learning to look for the good in your life doesn't mean you have to ignore the bad. A lot of times people think, well, what? how can I be grateful because this and this is happening? Well, the reality is that two things can be true at the same time. We can be experiencing something really painful, really challenging and stressful, and have gratitude about things that are going well. So Baumstein says, make time to practice gratitude. Some people, they might really like to start the day with it because it sets the tone for their day. Others might like to do it to bookends or kind of close out the day in the evening. What they're doing is forcing themselves to look for the good throughout the day. And Baumstein says there are a lot of ways that you can practice gratitude. You could start a gratitude journal that you fill out every day. You could have a gratitude jar. You could even express your gratitude in prayer or while you're meditating. For your Fox Medical Team, I'm Beth Galvin.